Mr. Speaker, H.R. 4366 fulfills our commitment to America's veterans by fully funding their health care programs and benefits, providing robust funding for mental health services, and rejecting the Biden administration's efforts to insert, insert far-left policies into the VA. As a Navy veteran, I'm proud that this bill improves the quality of life for service members by investing more than $17.6 billion in military construction and family housing for our heroes. This, this includes critical investments in child care development centers, upgrades to barrack housing, and billions in counter China, billions to counter China in the Indo-Pacific. Additionally, HR 4366 includes a provision prohibiting the closure of Naval Station Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and also prohibiting the use of funds to build detainee, detainee facilities on U.S. soil. As a veteran of the global war on terror, someone who prosecuted terrorists in the Iraqi court system, I saw firsthand the destruction and chaos caused by these radical extremists. Bringing these terrorists to U.S. soil is unthinkable to me, and, is, and many of these terrorists were directly involved in the September 11 terrorist attacks. Mr. Speaker, the underlying legislation also provides important congressional oversight of the, of the Biden administration. SJ Res 9 and SJ Res 24 utilize the Congressional Review Act to nullify the Department of Interior's rules related to the lesser prairie chicken and the northern long-eared bat. In both instances, bureaucrats from the Biden administration are placing red tape on economic development and private land use and without warrant. These rules expose farmers to litigation and lawsuits for routine farming activities. They shut down existing conservation efforts from private industry, and they impose new restrictions on farmers and ranchers. This is just another example, another instance of far left extreme Democrats in Washington, D.C., making it more costly for Americans to make a living, put food on the table, and develop our rural communities. For these reasons, I urge my colleagues to support this rule, and I reserve the balance of my time.